Hi, I'm Romy. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Marsupi baby carrier to carry a newborn. So I have here the Marsupi baby carrier and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the waistband on. So if you hold it up a little bit like an apron with the Velcro piece facing in towards you. Now for a newborn you're going to want to wear the waistband nice and high and what this will do is it will shorten the height of the carrier. Now obviously as your baby gets bigger you'll then wear it a little bit lower but for now I'm going to put this up nice and high like this. So I'm going to bring around the longer strap first and get it nice and snug and then feed the top piece over the top so it fits evenly over the velcro going around. If you want to you can actually bring it around like this just to make sure it all sits evenly and then swivel it back around. Now for a newborn you're going to want to narrow down the width of the carrier. So the marsupi has a little band like this and all you're going to do is take this band and put it so it goes round and narrows the carrier like this. So you're just literally wrapping it around here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to swivel it around so you can see on this side what I'm doing. So I've got it with the flat piece back here and then all I'm going to do is just fold this over and stick the velcro together. Now it will depend on how big your baby is as to how narrow it needs to go. Now the doll I'm using is quite little, it's a sort of small newborn of around sort of six, six and a half, seven pound size. So I've got it fairly, fairly tight on here. Obviously adjust it depending on how big your baby is. Once you've got it done up you can then swivel it back round so that the velcro bit is away from your baby. And make sure this piece sits nice and high so it's close to the waistband. Once you've got all that done, you can pick up your baby. So as I said, this is quite a small newborn I've got here. And newborn babies will generally have their knees tucked up at hip width apart like this. So when you first use it, just check that the width of the carrier looks to be pretty much the width of baby's legs when held like this. If you're happy with the width, you can now do the next stage. Slide your hand under the fabric and gently stroke it up over baby's bottom and back so you're holding them with the material like this. Now you've got the height extender piece here, we're not going to use that just now because we've obviously got a newborn, so I'm going to leave that folded down like that. Okay, now we want the top edge of the carrier coming up to the nape of baby's neck. This is the reason why we've worn this high because if you can see we've got a bit of fabric folded underneath baby which is going to shorten it. As they get bigger we'll wear it lower which will make this taller. So check that this is coming no higher than the nape of baby's neck and that you've got an even amount of leg either side. You're then going to take one strap and put it over your shoulder like this. Hold baby with the other hand, put the other strap over the other shoulder so it's hanging straight down. Okay I'm now just going to fold this up out of the way just so I've got all three strips of velcro all nice and clear. So I'm going to support baby with one hand, reach around with the other and take hold of the strap on the opposite side. I'm going to put it straight down to hold baby nice and secure, then bring it across and I'm going to wrap it round onto the bottom two pieces of velcro like that. Okay now check baby is really nice and snug at this stage. If you find it's a little bit loose, if there's a bit of slack, then just undo it, pull it a bit tighter and bring it round. But make sure you've got your first one nice and snug before you do the second. Right, we're now going to repeat exactly the same for the opposite side. So hold baby with the other hand and reach around, bring the strap straight down, to hold it nice and snug, bring it around and then you're going to get the Velcro just to match up with these pieces here. Now you may find you want to use a mirror to begin with just to double check or you can use your hands to feel. Okay this bit here I've got a little bit of velcro just showing there so I'm just going to undo that bottom one bring it a little bit higher again just to make sure it's properly attached on there. Okay so the most important thing with any baby carrier is you can see baby's face and they've got clear airways so check you can see their face and they've got clear airways there so just have a little look down. You want the carrier coming no higher than the nape of their neck to make sure the air can circulate clearly. And you also want to check they're held as tightly as holding them in your arms. I'm just bringing baby's arm up here. So in order to check they're held nice and securely, rest your hand on the back of their head and just very gently lean forwards and check their body doesn't pull away from you. If their body does pull away, then you can release one of the straps 
get it a little bit tighter and bring it round again. So you can keep alternating them until they're both held nice and securely. Baby's position. So just have a little feel and check that their legs are, are even. You haven't got one higher than the other. So you can possibly see here, this leg's a little bit lower. So all I'm gonna do is slide my hands in and just gently lift baby across so they're sitting evenly. Position wise, ideally you want their bottom lower than their knees. If they are a little bit straight, just take hold of their thighs and give a little tilt to bring their knees up and curve their bottom around. This will be more comfortable for baby, particularly if they've just fed, because it takes any pressure off their tummy. It also will keep their hips in an ergonomic position. That's essentially it. If you find this is a little bit low for your baby, you can pin this up like this on either side. So if you find this is a little bit lower than the nape of their neck, then you can obviously bring it higher. You can also, if baby is sleeping, you can bring just one side up and pin it over the back of their head to give a little bit of support. But just make sure that baby has got clear airways at the front. So don't put both sides up, just put the one over the back of the head. Once baby's older and has full head control, they'll be able to have arms out over the top of the carrier. But while they're little and they're a newborn, you want to make sure this is coming up to the nape of their neck so they're supported fully. And that's how to use the marsupi to carry a newborn. To take baby out, we're just going to reverse what we've done before. So it's going to fold this out the way and undo the first strap. Bring this around, keeping one hand on baby. So that goes down. I'm going to do exactly the same with the other side. So undo the strap and down there. Then you can bring the fabric over one shoulder and hold baby on the inside and bring the other strap off. And that's how to use the marsupi to carry a newborn.